It might seem hard to believe, but in just four to six weeks, the first phase of the university's $112 million Center for Engineering Innovation will be ready for researchers to begin moving in. Everything is progressing pretty well. We'll be turning over phase one sometime this spring uh, for the university to be able to move their equipment over from the existing Essex Hall into the new CEI building. Matt Sulier is the project manager for PCR Contractors, the firm hired to oversee construction of the 300,000 square foot facility. Despite a hard winter, he says progress has been steady on the job so far. To date, more than 9,300 cubic meters of concrete have been poured and about 500,000 feet of power cable have been laid. Quite a complex job with all the different structures that they use and different building materials from the timber, hollow core, planks, castle place concrete, structural steel, it's got it all. So it's, yeah, it's, it's quite a complex project, a lot of coordination, so it makes it very interesting. And the building size itself is, makes it a challenge as well. Phase one of the project will all be devoted to lab space. The second phase, set to open in the fall of 2012, will consist of the industrial courtyard, faculty and administration offices, classrooms, a main lecture hall that can seat 350 students, and a strong room for destructive testing that Sulier says is far superior to the current one in Essex Hall. With this strong room in comparison to that, this is, this is the Cadillac. This is unbelievable. Mark Bolio has worked on countless construction projects in his career, but the owner of J.P. Thompson, the architectural and engineering firm hired by the university to oversee the project, is amazed by how well the engineering building is coming together. It's um, been quite gratifying to see a project of this magnitude uh, to move at the pace it's moved, um, to be almost without issue, without controversy, um, and it's just been a project of how quickly can we get these people into this building. That's really all it's been about. And while the CEI will be a brilliant architectural feat to behold from the outside, Bolio believes it will be defined by the learning and research that will go on inside. Frankly, you know, the building is bricks and blocks. And um, it's the people and what they do in it that really makes a building great. And um, that's what's happening here. And uh, I, I only hope uh, when they do have an open house that uh, the greater population of Windsor comes and sees what, what we have here because it is truly amazing.